Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I wanted to share what I got in Japan. At the time of filming this, I just got back from Japan literally 24 hours ago, but I really wanted to share what I got with you. There's a lot of snacks, stationery, accessories, and things like that, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be going to Japan soon this year, so hopefully this will give you some ideas of like gifts to give to your friends and family too. But if you are going to Japan soon, I hope you have an amazing time. I was there for 10 days and it was the best trip of my life, and I got so much stuff that I can't wait to share, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off with snacks because there's a lot and we're going to start off with Kit Kats. So Japan is known for having a lot of unique Kit Kat flavors that you can't find anywhere else and I got quite a few so let's go through them. So first I went to Don Quixote which is just this huge store with like everything you can find. It's a one-stop shop. Literally they have food, home goods, tech gear, makeup, skincare. I went to the Mega Don Quixote in Shibuya which has like seven floors. I think it might be the biggest Don Quixote either in Japan or in the world. I just picked up these two. This one is Shinshu apple flavored and this one is Hojicha flavored which is a roasted green tea. They had some other ones that I've seen like wasabi, cheesecake, strawberry, orange but these I've never seen before so I'm gonna give these as gifts to people and if I have any leftovers I'm gonna try some myself. And then I stopped by another Don Quixote. This one was in Ginza and I picked up these two flavors. This one is a melon flavor and this one is milk tea flavored. And the last Kit Kat flavor that I got is this Tokyo Banana X Kit Kat flavor. So Tokyo Banana is a different snack brand. It's like this small banana shaped dessert and it's filled with cream but the outside bread part is super soft and fluffy. It's another really popular treat that people get when they go to Japan. So they did like a collab with Kit Kat and they have this like banana flavored Kit Kat. And I found this at the airport actually at Narita International Airport and I thought it sounded good so I picked this up as well. And then another popular snack in Japan is Paki and this is an Amazon sake flavor which is like a sake flavor and it's also really interesting because each pocky stick is huge usually pocky sticks are much shorter and thinner but this is like a giant pocky so i thought that was really interesting and it's a unique flavor so i thought this would make a great gift for my friends to try. Next up, I got some Haichu. Everyone that I know loves Haichu. They're just like a chewy, usually fruity flavored candy. And this one has three different peach flavors. So there's a white peach, a Shimizu white peach, and a golden peach flavor. I love peaches. They're one of my favorite fruits. And I thought it would be fun to try the different flavors. And I also got this at Don Quixote. I also got these Meiji matcha chocolates. So they're just these little chocolate bars, but they're filled with matcha flavoring. And you just can't go wrong with matcha and chocolate. I got these honey butter almond snacks. Now these are actually Korean. Like you can see the writing on here is actually Korean, but I haven't seen these before in stores like in the US. I'm sure you can find them, but I haven't seen them. And I know that these are really good. I've had them once before and they were so yummy. So I just picked up a bunch. I know they're not Japanese, but I don't think my friends will care. <laughs> so next up, I went to Shirohige's cream puff shop and they sell these adorable Totoro cream puffs. They're shaped like Totoro and they have different fillings. So we got strawberry and chocolate, but they also sell these like snack boxes with cookies inside of them so I got a bunch to send home to friends and family so I got three of these smaller cookie sets so it comes with four different flavors of cookies and they're shaped like the smaller Totoro I'm double checking the website right now for the flavors and the flavors are raspberry plain coffee and hazelnut and cocoa and then I also got a bigger cookie set which has I believe nine different cookie flavors in here it's taped shut so I can't show you what it looks like but i'll insert a photo of what they look like on the inside so there's cinnamon orange purple potato cocoa plain coffee and hazelnut raspberry kinako and matcha so if you love totoro as much as i do like totoro is my favorite studio ghibli film i would highly recommend making the trip out to shirohige's continuing on with snacks I got a whole bunch from Muji and I always knew them as like a stationery store or like a home goods like lifestyle store. I didn't know they also sold snacks. And the one that I went to in Ginza is I believe their flagship store. So it was huge. There were like six or seven floors and they had a huge section dedicated to just snacks. 
so I went kind of crazy. First thing is this matcha candy. So I believe these are just like hard candies that are matcha flavored. Then I got these yuzu hard candies, similar to the matcha ones, but they are yuzu flavored and one of my friends loves yuzu, so I got this for her. I also got these salted potato sticks, matcha cookies with red bean. And then I just got these chocolate cookies. The Japanese actually says that there is vanilla as well, so it looks like they are chocolate and vanilla, little like shortbread cookies. I just thought they looked really cool too because they have this like checkerboard pattern. And then close to the Muji flagship store was the Uniqlo flagship store also in Ginza and they have 12 floors at this Uniqlo it was insane I think it's the biggest one in the world and at the very top floor they actually have a cafe they sell coffee and little snacks but I also saw that they sold coffee bags of their coffee beans that they use for their coffee and I actually really liked their coffee it was strong but not too bitter so I picked up two bags to give to friends and family that I know like to drink coffee. I thought it was just a unique gift and something that you can really only find in Japan. And for my last snack, we also went to Tokyo Disney Sea. So I just got one thing and it's this pasta in the shape of Duffy and Shelly Mae. So they had this whole store dedicated just to Duffy and friends. And I thought this was so unique because it is literally shaped like Duffy and Shelly Mae. And also who doesn't love pasta? And it also comes with this really cute bag clip. So moving on to stationery, I got a few things from Loft. And Loft is kind of similar to Muji where they have a lot of stationery, but they also have home goods, accessories, clothing, home decor, things like that. Just another one-stop kind of shop. First thing that I got there is this mini calendar. And I thought it was so adorable. I've been really wanting something like this because I saw this one girl on TikTok use a mini calendar like this to keep track of her skincare routine. So she used a tiny calendar like this and used a highlighter to mark off certain days that she does certain things in her skincare like she'll mark one day as purple as like her retinol day or another day as blue as like her exfoliation day and things like that so i really wanted to do that as well so i can keep track of my skincare i do use notion and i have a habit tracker on there but for some reason i can't bring myself to use it especially for my skincare so i'm thinking maybe if i use something that's more physical and handwritten it'll help me keep track better and then i picked up some stickers the stickers there were so adorable like this brand specifically su atelia design they have all these adorable little mini stickers this one is food themed and then i also picked up a miffy notepad miffy is so popular right now because it's the year of the rabbit so she is popping off this year and i understand why because she is absolutely adorable and then i also picked up a few things from muji the first one is this translucent sticky note so if you use this in like a notebook or like a textbook you can make notes or annotations and you'll still be able to kind of see the words underneath it so i have a teacher friend and i thought this might come in handy so i'm gonna give these to her and lastly i picked up a bunch of these cord coils so it looks like a translucent little square box but it's really handy because it helps to keep your cords organized like this so you can extend the cord if you need to use it but if you want to keep it more organized and clean up a bit you can coil the middle like this and it keeps it so nice and organized and I saw this on TikTok months ago and the girl said that you can only find it at the Muji in Japan and I actually found them so I got a whole bunch to give to friends and family and not only that, it acts as a phone stand too so this back part actually slides up and you can use it as a phone stand and I use this for my portable charger when I was just going out and about I always kept my portable charger on me but I hate that my cord just flies everywhere in my bag so this really helps to keep things more organized I only got one clothing item while I was there too. I thought I was gonna do more shopping, but honestly a lot of the things didn't really call my name except for this rain jacket that I got at Uniqlo. So this is a pocketable parka and I love this because a lot of Uniqlo's things like their outerwear can be fit into these little pockets, which is so convenient. It's so lightweight But it's a full jacket on the inside so i did bring my own rain jacket to japan and i actually had to use it because it did rain but i noticed that it was literally falling apart like the jacket 
inside lining was like flaking off and it was leaving some like black flakes on me so i picked up another one this is more just like a sun shield it, like protects you from uv rays but it is also water repellent so i use this as like a rain jacket too and when you're not using it you can just roll it back up and stuff it back in its pouch and it's so handy and compact now moving on to accessories and other miscellaneous things the first thing is this Rilakkuma tote bag and I love Rilakkuma and when I saw this tote bag I had to get it at first I was hesitant because I have so many tote bags already okay like one person does not need this many tote bags but I saw this one and I just had to have it first of all the price was actually pretty good it was 1540 yen I just did the conversion and that's about 11 US dollars and I also just loved how many pockets it has obviously it has the big main inner pocket but it also has this smaller inside pocket as well as a zippered pocket on the back so it's very functional has Rilakkuma's adorable face on it and I just love it so much I ended up getting this in the Rilakkuma store at Sunshine City which is in Ikebukuro but I did go to another Rilakkuma store in Kyoto in Arashiyama and I got this Rilakkuma handkerchief Again, it's so adorable. It has all these different embroideries. Like one of them, they're like in a honey pot. Rilakkuma is sleeping. This one is like a tea set. And this one, they're like baking cookies. It is just so adorable. And in Japan, it's really handy to have a handkerchief because none of their bathrooms have like paper towels or even like hand drying machines so everyone carries around their own handkerchief to wipe their hands and I didn't have one already so I picked this one up at the Rilakkuma store next I picked up these Totoro chopsticks these I got at Don Quixote and they just have different Totoro designs I think one of them I'm gonna gift and one of them I'm gonna keep for myself and we also got this vegetable peeler super random but our old vegetable peeler broke so we needed a new one and we found this one at Muji and it just looks really sleek then I stopped by a store called three coins which is kind of like a dollar store but like a three dollar store because everything there is like 300 yen so like three 100 yen coins it felt like as if Daiso and Muji had a baby because Three Coins was very aesthetically pleasing like Muji but a little bit more cutesy like Daiso and also on the cheaper side so I picked up a couple of things the first thing is this water absorption armband so you basically just wear these on your wrists when you're washing your face that way water doesn't drip down your arm and that is one of my biggest pet peeves and I also got these adorable hair clips these are really tiny mini flowers and I loved the color selection that they had. I also grabbed these pom pom pudding socks from Don Quixote. And lastly are some little accessories that I got at a gachapon store also in Sunshine City. They had this one gachapon store that was massive. There were rows and rows and rows of gachapon machines. So I got these two little pom pom pudding pouches. It's great because they are not only cute but they're also functional. So I have a little fuzzy one with pancakes on it and one just with pom pom pudding's face. And one of my favorite things that I got all trip is this little hammerhead shark keychain but it's designed like a pancake. So the body is like the pancake and he has some maple syrup and butter on top. Kyle and I ended up getting matching ones. So I first got this hammerhead shark and then Kyle did it and he got a manta ray. And I'm keeping mine on my Uniqlo shoulder bag. And that is everything that I got in Japan. And if you haven't already, check out all of my Japan vlogs. I vlogged every day of my 10 day trip, which you can find in my playlist here. I'll link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All right, bye.